What's up guys, we're gonna bro beats and today I wanna show you something you can do with the graph editor to enhance your drums. Um, so obviously this will be more specific uh, to FL Studio. Uh, so I'll just play this beat. This is a this is a beat for something that we're gonna be doing on the channel here soon. All right, so we'll use the rim for this because I think it's a more versatile sound. Uh, so if we click up here for the graph editor, we'll have this menu. Now, a lot of you already know about this menu. You already know what it does. Um, you have your pitch. Like you already have that. We already know about that, right? Um, you have your velocity. Okay, and I doubt most people actually use this as often. Usually I just use the velocity. Okay, and we're gonna go through all of these because there's some really cool ones that I wanna show you. So this video won't be long, obviously. Um, and then you have your release velocity. Now this just depends on the sound. We don't really need to go over that because you can't really utilize it that much. But then you also have your fine pitch. Um, now if you just wanna put some cool, like uh, different sounds in there uh, or iterations of the sound that you have in terms of pitch, you can do that. Now, if you wanna reset this, hold alt and just click and drag, and then you can reset it to zero. Of course, panning, right? We all know about panning. Of course, we know about that. Um, so now we're gonna get into the ones that most of you probably don't use, which but these could actually kind of help you. Now, the first one is Mod X. Now, what this is going to do is pretty much just be an EQ, so it's gonna be a filter cutoff. Now, most of the time it won't work when you pull it all the way up this way. And I'll actually just play this solo. But when you pull it down, you'll see it'll kind of have a filter on it. Now you're like, okay, why would I want to use this? There's plenty of ways you can use this, but where I would use it is more like a kicker 808 to add some subbiness to it. Um, so like one of these 808s, like if it had a lot of harmonics on it or like buzz, um, you could take a little bit of it out and you can obviously do this on a specific note, right? So it doesn't have to be um, on all these notes. I'll just throw one in, um, right? Right, you can see we got a little bit more sub 808. Um, so yeah, if you just wanted to do something like that, you could, okay? Now this is the weaker of them because it's just a filter cutoff, right? But then we have the Mod Y. Now Mod Y is gonna be like a, um, I, I believe it's like a resonance filter or something like that. Um, now this is going to make your drums crispy. So I'll reset this, okay? So this is what it sounds like now. And I'll just mute this. And then if we turn it up, you'll see. Now obviously that's max. You probably do about half. And if you do all your drums, obviously they would be super, super crispy, um, especially with your hi-hats, but you obviously don't want to go too crazy with it, but this is something you could do if you want crispier uh, drums. And then you won't have to add all these like EQs and stuff later. Um, so this is a quick little shortcut you can use. Um, you can access all this in the sampler as well. So no worries there, okay? So now we're on to the ones I've been waiting to get to. Uh, I'm gonna just reset these because I don't think they need them. I'll just keep this back to where it was at around there. Um, now obviously that'll make your drums um, pop through the mix a little bit better as well, okay? So you can utilize those. So now we have my favorite ones. We have shift and repeat. Now they're pretty self-explanatory, but the reason I like shift is because in, in FL Studio historically, FL drums kind of sound robotic most of the time. Um, if you're in halftime, you'll kind of be fine, but usually in double time, like 160, 180, uh, your drums will sound more robotic. Doesn't mean they won't have bounce, but they won't have like that sh that swing or that groove. So you can actually implement this easier this way with shift, okay? Uh, so let's go here and I'm gonna just, um, actually, do I have this on? Yeah, I have this on right here, okay? So uh, first I'm gonna show you what it does real quick. So let's do it here and let's go into the graph so you can actually see what it's doing. Um, I know you can't see it right now, but I'm gonna try to make it so that you can see all of it. So we're gonna turn this on. Now, if you look closely, when I shift them, it's shifting the notes over, as you can see. So halfway through, you'll kind of get like, it'll go halfway, right? Into the next note. So you got all these little spots in here, right? So I would say about from here, if you go from here, to here you can get like a lo-fi swing right 
Um, so I'll just play it. Obviously, it's not going to sound great because I'm just random. Well, I guess it will sound the same. We'll put it. And obviously, it's very off right now. Um, you will use this sparingly, but this is something cool that you can do um, that I think is very helpful, very, very helpful in FL Studio especially. So we can now have more groove in our drums. So let's go back. Make sure all this is centered. Um, so with this one, okay, we just move this one. So this would sound like originally. I guess I could turn all of it on. Right now, when we pull this up. And now you can see we kind of got like that um, nice little uh, swing on our hi-hat that made the, in my opinion, made the drum sound way better, um, has way more bounce just because of this one little note here, okay? Now, lastly, this is the easy one, repeat. So this is gonna be like automatic chops. So if you look in the corner up here, right here, you'll see that we have uh, like, it'll show you the different type of chops. So I'll show you, right? So you can kind of utilize these as well. So if you just want a few little chops in there, you can. Um, right, and realistically, I'll probably use the one right here. Like if I was actually going to use this, right? So um, these are the chops. Again, this is gonna be a shorter video. That's all I really wanted to show you because I thought this was really helpful um, when I started using these um, in my drums. Um, it's a lot quicker rather than you can still go in here and do stuff, but sometimes it's kind of annoying and maybe you don't want to do that. It's a lot easier just to go here and just click in the button, right? So that's good for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.